Death Certificate, and they all vote in their AGM. The board of directors is made up of seven members of the orchestra, playing directors, and some external non-playing directors who are basically financial advisors, and the managing director, and the administrative team works to the managing director. The chairman and the vice chairman are both players. Our current chairman is a violinist, and our vice chairman is a trumpeter. Um, and the directors are voted onto the board annually by the rest of the members at the AGM, which was last Monday. Each member has one vote, and they tend to um, they tend to come onto the board of the LSO because they have a political uh, reason for doing that. So we nearly always have horn players. We, <laughs> we nearly always have double bass players because they've got a lot more time and they're really, really friendly. Um, uh, we nearly, yes, there's nearly always a woodwind, some woodwind thing somewhere. Um, and they meet, they meet as a board quarterly, and then separately they have a uh, personnel committee, an orchestra committee, that sorts all, out all their day-to-day -day business, the business of the collective, really, who's allowed to do what and who's not allowed to do what, and whether that sets a precedent for someone else coming later and all of that sort of thing. And uh, the administration doesn't get involved in the, in the running of the collective itself. We run their business for them, and we're answerable for them for the success of their business. So as the marketing director or the director of St. Luke's, I can have any LSO player come up and ask me about my posters or um, challenge me about something that I'm programming at St. Luke's. And uh, I actually find that a really directly healthy thing and I love to talk to them about it and I always invite them in and say would you like to, me to tell you about our marketing strategy and they always retreat quickly <laughs> <laughs> um, financial matters and commercial matters are separately considered by the finance committee and that's mainly made up of external board advisors um, the chairman of our council is the chairman of the Bank of America and various um, other uh, well-informed people about financial matters, really, as well as the chairman and vice chairman and managing director. And then separately, the orchestra has full meetings of the whole orchestra to discuss important issues, at which the admin are never allowed in. So it's a collective decision about something. It might be something to do with their own personnel. So they might decide as a group to sack the principal horn or something like that. But we're never involved in anything like that. Um, and we have two subsidiaries which are trading arms of the LSO, LSO Productions, which has in it LSO St. Luke's, and wow. LSO Live, which is the CD and downloads arm. And then we have a separate ind independent trust, which is an endowment fund, and that endowment fund, the interest of 